Hey folks, my name is Brian Motes and I'm the Content Manager at Theopolis Institute. Welcome to this video. We're going to take a few moments just to give a really basic kind of layman's overview of how to chant the Psalms. Uh, we have several of these Psalms uh, here on our YouTube channel and we're also re uh, releasing these uh, over on Apple Music, Spotify and other music streaming services as well. But we wanted to take at least one video here to demonstrate uh, how simple chanting is and how it's done. Um, I know that when you see a psalm chant for the first time, it may be a little confusing. And so this video is going to try to help alleviate uh, some of that confusion and uh, get a lot of you chanting the psalms a lot quicker. One of the main things that strikes people when they first start chanting the psalms is that there's no regular rhythm uh, that you can kind of tap your toes to. Um, the rhythm of the music that you're going to be singing is the rhythm of the words themselves. This can be confusing, uh, not just for folks in the pew, but uh, it can initially also be confusing for people who grow up reading music and learning how to perform. So I've pulled up here Psalm 2 in our Theopolis Liturgy and Psalter. And one of the first things that we need to know when it comes to chanting are that the notes here at the top of the page only indicate the pitch. Okay, They do not indicate the time values uh, or how long you're going to hold words out. Okay, The text here, the text of the scripture, is what's driving the music, uh, not the music or the melody driving uh, what's happening with the words. So looking at Psalm 2, um, this right here, this first note, uh, which is here is a D, is going to be your reciting tone. And this note is going to be sung when you sing these words up to the line. Okay, Each section gets a measure. So Y do is going to be on this D. And then nations conspire is going to be on this next measure. Okay, And people's murmur A is going to be sung here on this F. And the next section, vain thing, is going to be on the last measure. Okay. Now, when you sing psalms at Theopolis, what's going to happen and what I recommend doing in your churches is that a, a, a chief musician, whether on a piano, an organ, or something else, is going to play these chords. So if I was at a piano right now, I would play da 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 dum da 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 dum. Okay, I would play those full chords. And then a cantor, a pastor, a layman, someone who's been uh, given the responsibility of singing this and setting the tone, is going to sing. Why do nations conspire and peoples murmur a vain thing? Okay, and let's follow along with my mouse here as I sing this, and you'll see how the chant works. Why do nations conspire and peoples murmur a vain thing? A couple of things that you'll realize here is that um, we're singing about the speed of normal spoken speech. Okay, the cantor is kind of is going to set the pace there. But at Theopolis, we like to emphasize that we're not. James Jordan likes to say we're not mooing these out. Okay, we're not slowly doing these out in a Gregorian type of chant. We are singing these about the pace that you would speak them. Okay, some words are going to get more emphasis here and there, but in general, uh, you're not rushing and you're not slowing down. You're just singing it about the rhythm of the spoken word. Okay, so why do is going to be here on this reciting tone again, and then nations conspire, and then and peoples murmur a. Uh, vain thing. Okay, You'll notice here I chose Psalm 2 because it has some bolded words. The words that are bolded or the portions of words that are bolded are going to receive more than one note. Okay, So looking at verse 2, it's going to sound like this. Positioned are earth's kings and rulers take counsel together okay. against Yahweh. So you can see how that bolded word, uh, the bolded half of against there, gets more than one note. Against Yahweh and against his anointed. Okay, moving on. And at this point, both the musician and the singers are not, you're not bouncing up and down between the music and the text, okay? Once you hear the psalm tones, once you hear the chant, the chant tones, um, you've got it for the rest of the tune. Okay, So don't add extra confusion to yourself by bouncing between the music and the words. Once you hear that da 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 da, la da da da, you've got it locked in for the rest of the psalm. Okay, So it doesn't matter where you are, you're going to be singing the same notes. Okay, These are pretty simple chants, so it's easy to just lock into that melody and then just sing the full text. Um, it's pretty glorious. So let's hear some of this. Why do nations conspire and peoples murmur a vain thing? 
Positioned are earth's kings, and rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their chains and throw off of us their ropes. The one enthroned in the heavens laughs. My master scoffs at them. Then he speaks to them in his wrath, and in his burning anger he terrifies them, saying, I myself have installed my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will declare the statute Yahweh said to me, My son you are, I myself today have begotten you. Okay. One thing to keep in mind is that typically we are learning this either together at Theopolis or a lot of churches are learning these in person, either in hymn sings or psalm sings, things like that. So you will kind of, the congregation will gear itself toward the way that the cantor sings this. Okay, this is how I sing this text. So this is the way that our church sings this because this is the way that I've led them to sing it. But if you want to put certain emphasis on different things, if you want to slow it down a little bit, if you want to uh, do your own thing with some of the either pronunciations or uh, how fast you're going, that's, that's totally acceptable. The important thing is that we sing the Psalms. Here's an example of the same text, but with a different pointing and with different music. Okay, this one would sound like this. Why do nations conspire? And people's murmur a vain thing. Positioned are earth's kings, and rulers take counsel together. Okay, you can see you just change notes when you get to the line, and you just move to the next the next bar of music. Okay, so let's look at that again. Why do nations conspire? And people's murmur a vain thing. Positioned are earth's kings. And rulers take counsel together. Okay, so that note, you're just singing that first note. Why do nations con? It's all on the same note. And then you change. Spire. So putting it all together. Why do nations conspire? Why do nations conspire? And people's murmur a vain thing. Positioned are earth's kings. And rulers take counsel together. Okay, hope that makes sense. Let's look at Psalm 3. So again, these are your reciting notes. The first note is your reciting note, and you don't change notes until you get to the line, okay? Yahweh, how many are my foes? How many are rising up against me? How many are saying of my soul? There is no salvation for him in God. Okay, let's keep going. Yahweh, how many are my foes? How many are rising up against me? But it is you, Yahweh, who are a shield around me, my glory, and the one lifting up my head. So that is a really quick look at how to begin chanting the psalms. I hope you will uh, check out some of the psalm chants here on our YouTube page, as well as over on Apple Music and Spotify. Um, sing the psalms. Jump on in. You know, there is a lot of benefit to meditating on the scriptures and listening to one person sing the psalms and singing with them. That helps us to murmur on God's law day and night, as Psalm 1 says. Um, but when you sing this with a congregation, when you sing this with 40, 50, 60, 100, 200 people, and you sing it robustly, full-voiced, at a good pace, um, there's just nothing like uh, chanting and singing the psalms together as God's people. So we encourage you uh, to begin, to jump in, to enjoy this. And, uh, you know, it'll be clunky uh, when you begin. But as, as with any type of music training, uh, these things smooth out. And we do believe that it will be a huge blessing. Uh, to you in your personal life, your home life, your family worship, and in the worship of God's people on the Lord's Day. God bless.